I tell you what though, it is so dead here. There's actually no one here. The whole place is empty. There's no one here. Morning, the time is 7.35 in the morning and this morning I'm leaving North Korea. I'm currently in Pyongyang and I'm flying out of Pyongyang at 10 o'clock I think. I'm flying with the only North Korean airline going. I think it's called Air Corio and apparently it's the world's only one star airline. So technically the worst airline in the world. I'm flying business class from Pyongyang to Beijing. It wasn't too expensive. I don't know what it's going to be like and it's the world's worst airline. So I thought I'd give it a go. Right, I need to get going. This is it. Fairly well work for you. Awesome, good, man. Thanks for everything. It's been a Pack. pleasure. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> Look after yourself. Sure. <laughs> You're coming, right? No, no, no. You're not coming. Go, go, no. Oh, mate, come here. Mate, honestly, absolute yeah. pleasure. You're a good man. Come here, mate. You need a pearl. Oh, you're coming to the yeah, airport. Yeah. Oh, well, you can have it later then. Well, this is emotional. Thank you. Come neither. What do you think this flight's gonna be like? You're not on the flight. You will go to detention. <laughs> <laughs> do you know it's the world's one-star airline? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you know that? Is it a jet plane or a yeah, propeller? It will be a jet one. Probably. It's good. At least it's got jets. Have you flown with this before, Benny? Yeah, yes, but not with an airplane type. How does it compare to Ryanair in Europe? <laughs> it's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we think of our time here? It was quality, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. bizarre. We had such a good group as well. When you say it was bizarre, what do you mean by that? There were a lot of things that you don't expect to see. Did it? exceed your expectations or yeah yeah of course but you also see completely different things like yeah. I can't even tell you what I expected yeah I, I had, can't I had no expectations no me I neither had, uh, how long is it to the airport from here 30 minutes 30 minutes yeah. ah, okay and how long do you normally check in before one and a half an hour before the flight ah okay cool have you flown with air choreo before never you've never flown with them have you heard good things everyone says it was good yeah ah, okay interesting cool. how many planes fly out of Pyongyang every day normally three or four flights. more or less than five yeah ah, okay three or four flights a day pretty posh this apparently it was built in 2015 but it is again really quiet as you can see there's nobody here yeah this is definitely the quietest airport I have ever been in my life what's this visa is it custom check and immigration yeah, we just have to fill these forms in custom declaration in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea please mark next any items if you have any one weapon ammunition explosives killing device Laptop phone, camera. We're just waiting to go and check in now. The check-in desk isn't open yet. On the departures board up there, there's four flights for the day. Shenyang, Beijing, Dalian and Shanghai. So there's four flights going out of here today. Pretty big airport for four flights. I don't want to wander off too far before I get in trouble. But there's a few shops over there. A photograph shop, a luggage shop and a watch shop. And at the other end over here, you've got a food shop. Other than that, there's nothing really here to be honest. So are we just going to the desk now, are we? Or? Okay, cool. The red pad. Ah, the red pad, thank you. Just made it through security. It was easy enough, to be honest. Didn't have to take my laptop out my bag, water, anything. I tell you what though, it is so dead here. There's actually no one here. The whole place is empty. There's no one here. This is bizarre. An absolutely empty airport. There's a few shops. New shop, CD shop. Korean duty free shop. Oh, here you are. Look what you've got over here. A business class lounge. Let's have a look what this looks like. Hi, how are you? Ah, thank you very much. 
Um, yeah, can I have a Pepsi and a coffee, please? Thank you. The ladies just give me a Coke, first English can I've seen since being in North Korea. She mentioned something about an omelette as well, so I don't know if there's food. As you can see though, behind me, there is nobody in here. I am the only person in here. I can't believe how dead this airport is. Ah, thank you very much. I'm getting the treatment here. Good coffee. The ladies just brought me an omelette covered in ketchup. She must know me far too well. How random is this? Sat in a North Korean airport eating an omelette covered in ketchup. Not bad. Right, this flight's boarding, so I best get going. Ah, come to me there. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Come to me there. Finally leaving North Korea. It feels like I've been here for ages, but I've only been here for 10 days. Um, this Thank you. And we have landed in Beijing. As soon as I got on that flight, she told me to put the camera away. And then I got it back out and she told me to put it away again. Why can't you film anything? I tried to get as much as I could anyway. I think I got a bit, to be fair. To be honest, it wasn't anything that you wouldn't think I could film. It was just like a normal flight. It definitely wasn't anything special. The flight ended up being about two hours long. I didn't get offered any food. I asked for a can of Coke. They didn't have that. So all I had was a coffee. So would I fly Air Corio North Korean Airlines business class again? Definitely not. It wasn't worth it. However, it was worth going to North Korea. Honestly, I really enjoyed my time there. It was such an experience. I didn't really have any expectation going there and it definitely exceeded that. It was just an interesting trip. Oh, look who's here. What did you think of the flight? Turbulence. There was a bit of turbulence, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, directly. Did you get any food or drink? Yeah, we, we got a hamburger. You got a hamburger? Oh, yes, yes. Mate, I didn't get a hamburger. I was in business class. What did you get? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I got <laughs> coffee. I got tea. I got one coffee. I asked for a can of cola and they didn't have it. You got a hamburger? Yeah, a really tasty one. Really. Are you being serious? Yeah, yeah. I have a picture. You've got a hamburger? I have a picture. So it's definitely not worth doing this, it's class. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hamburger. Mate, I didn't even get a hamburger. I didn't get anything. Still fuming about the hamburger. Was there any good? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't but it was mysterious meat. Nobody knows what it's inside. <laughs> You get a tomato on it, you get a little bit of salad, and that's it. So it didn't taste like beef? Yeah, from a vegetarian point of view, it definitely didn't taste like meat. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm back in Beijing. It has been a hectic 10 days. Are you knackered? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally tired. I'm so tired as well. It's been such an amazing 10 days. Like, what have you got to say about it? I don't know how to describe it. Like, I literally can't find words for it. Yeah, we had, I we had, can't. We had, we had like this contrast between good and bad and amazingly beautiful and really sad and I, I think I need some taste to process it. Yeah, like to take you, it in. Yeah, yeah I 100% agree with you there, mate. I hope you've enjoyed the videos as much as I've enjoyed making them. This trip has been a massive, massive eye-opener for me. Thank you so much for all the messages and the support. It really means a lot. And also for liking and commenting on the videos and sharing them. It means more than you know. I haven't given away any skin stuff on the North Korea video, so all you've got to do is like and comment on this video and then go and get me on Instagram at Simon J. Wills and then I'll private message someone and send them out. Thanks again for everything. It really means a lot. Have a good one. Any last words? Go and visit North Korea. <laughs>